Nissan D22 Navara. It's got the 2.5 litre engine in it. It's got the top man intercooler. And yeah, um, not a car that's very popular for getting upgraded, probably because people don't realize they can. So what can we do to these? We can do the ECU remap, and we also need to add a boost controller to them as well because they don't have any form of electronic boost controlling method on it. So we add a Turbo Smart Boost T, which is this little device down here, and that allows us to increase the boost. So obviously, once we do the boost increase, then we'll also add the fuel and the rest of the tuning stuff to give us the power increase. So what gains are made? Well, this is where we're at. So. This car actually made more power than stock. Normally they're around 75 kilowatts. So it made 80 kilowatts and then 88 kilowatts after the remap. It doesn't sound like eight kilowatts as much of a gain, probably enough to deter you off doing it. However, let's talk about what's happening at the bottom of the car, of the graph. So this is the torque line here. And so red line is stock, blue line is after the remap. So you can see from like 2000 revs, we start to get a good ramping of torque and 2100, 2200, so on. So we end up with a, a good average of 50 newton meters of increase in torque from like, you know, 1950 RPM all the way across the sort of 3000 RPM. Now, that's what you want in a diesel. We don't want top end power. So when you look at that top end figure from 80 to 88 kilowatts and you think, oh, that's not much. Well, that's at like three and a half thousand RPM. You don't really spend much time there in a diesel, especially something like this. So. You know, you're driving it around, you generally spend most of your time around that 2,000, 2,500 range, um, and sometimes even lower. So you want to make sure that when you're doing your upgrades that you're getting the torque increase low end of the rev range. Horsepower in kilowatts is the top end power range. We don't really care about that too much, although we are always trying to make more power. It's not what we're looking for. It's the torque that we're looking for. So a lot of people get deceived in the whole, oh, I make more power than you. Well, don't worry about the power. It's torque that makes a diesel engine work. So, and as you can see, you know, from pretty much 1400 revs, we go from like, like as, an, as the lowest point, you know, we go from say 125 newton meters at 1500 revs to like 144 newton meters um at 1500 revs you know so that's a really good increase and then it just keeps ramping up as you keep going so i'm i'm happy to put my name on that and i'm proud to say that you know this is a very very worthy upgrade for a d22 navara because let's face it they're not the most powerful car to begin with um and after doing a remap on them they certainly get a real good punch of low down torque and if you're pulling a trailer or you know just using it as a general workhorse you're certainly going to benefit from these cars and they're quite smoky to begin with so after doing a remap they do clean up quite a fair bit in the soot department too which is always nice to see uh boost wise we end up running around sort of 19 pound of boost in them um which is you know still respectable and safe so something like this what does it cost um it's like 15.95 i believe it is sorry am i correct in this i literally was just looking at it i'm sorry i should know this off the top of my head yep 15.95 that gets you an ecu remap and the Turbo Smart Boost Control Valve. If you already do have one on your car, we'll simply deduct that off the price. Um, a few other things to make note when we do do this, we actually remove all this, drill and tap it, put a fitting in here so we can actually monitor the boost. So after we've done that, you're more than welcome to be able to put a boost gauge on the car and screw it straight in without any modifications. Um, process takes about a day to do, drop it off in the morning, pick it up in the late afternoon and so on. We're located in Morwell, guys not in western australia and um any messages or anything yeah drop them here and we'll um, respond back to you as quick as we can as always thanks for your time have a good day and we'll see you on the next one catch you guys